everyone, my name is Brad Hamilton and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this wall explosion in Blender utilizing the Chaos add-on. Just a quick note before we get started, Chaos is now available on Blender Market for Blender 2.79 and for 2.8, however there are still issues with smoke simulation in Blender 2.8, which is why in this video we will be utilizing Chaos with Blender for 2.79. Anyways guys, let's get started. Alright, so here we are inside of Blender, and this is the explosion we have created here. Essentially what we have done in this setup here is created the general geometry of the scene and then made that geometry interact with our fuel and smoke system as a particle collision and a smoke collision object. Anyway, so if we go to a preview of this blast here, one of the things we can notice is that there is a decent amount of variation in the initial blast. This is key because if there's not enough random shape to an explosion, it won't necessarily look as good. The way we created this random variation in this particular example is by using multiple fuel systems to create different portions of the blast. So if we hide the smoke here and look at our particles, you can notice that we've created the explosion with multiple Chaos 360 ground burst operators. We scaled these operators in different directions and then varied the lifetime of each particle system so that there's a more random variation within our blast. Essentially, the more concentrated parts of the fuel field will burn out slower and the less concentrated parts will burn out faster, building a unique shape to our explosion. Instead of just relying on one particle system to make an explosion, we can sort of shape the explosion by uniquely building the fuel system by adding different types of chaos operators. Of course, to top off the explosion, we've added some more debris systems as well, utilizing the chaos debris fields, and then we've composited the layers of the composite with glow and motion blur for this final result. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to understand the concept of building explosions inside of Blender. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.